Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Luke and today I'm going to share with you how I mastered the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator so that you might be able to as well. Let's jump straight into it. So I was first introduced to the pen tool while I was studying at university. This was quite a few years ago now but we were tasked with the project of creating a logo design for a camper van site and to do this we needed to trace a photograph of a camper van in Adobe Illustrator using the pen tool. And this is how my obsession with the tool started. By tracing photographs of vehicles, which have a really good mix of smooth and hard edges, I trained my hand to be able to create those smooth curved lines, straight edges, harsh corners and soft corners too. The more I traced, the easier it got. So my first tip is to choose photographs of an object or objects of your choice. Uh, these don't have to be vehicles. Vehicles are a good choice and a good example because they do have a good mix of smooth and hard edges, but they can be anything that you want to trace and keep doing it and again and again until you feel comfortable creating those straight lines, curved lines, harsh edges, soft edges, you get the idea. My second tip really probably should have been my first tip. It is to familiarize yourself with the keyboard shortcuts that go along with the pen tool. For example, you might hold Alt to drag out the direction of the path. This will affect how your path continues on your next click. Another good example of a shortcut with the pen tool is to hold shift and it will create a perfectly straight line from one point to the other. After I was comfortable with tracing objects with the pen tool, I moved on to something slightly harder and that was portraits. Portraits of people come with the extra challenge of usually there being hair. Now hair is something that you don't want to draw out every single strand of, especially in Adobe Illustrator because you could end up with hundreds or even thousands of paths. Instead, it'll encourage you to find a stylized way of interpreting hair. Faces also have soft edges as opposed to objects which have hard edges. So it'll encourage you to consider where you don't put lines in your artwork. Sometimes less is more. This is definitely the case when it comes to portraits, at least when it comes to the faces. Once I had a good grasp on using the pen tool and stylizing certain features to suit vector art, I was able to start sketching in a way that complemented the format. This is a style I developed over years of trial and error through studying other vector designers and artists that I looked up to, taking tutorials if I ever got stuck. By understanding what the pen tool could and couldn't do, I was able to develop my illustrative design style to a format that worked with the pen tool. I think you get the idea that ultimately it comes down to just using it a lot. Practice and experiment with the tool. Once you have the basics down, it's really not hard to build on top of those. There is also a pen tool tracing game that you can play to familiarize yourself with the tool. Uh, this is perfect for beginners. When I did give it a try, I did find there were a few bugs, but nothing major, and it will probably really help you if you are just starting out with it. That's it for this video. I hope you found my experiences helpful, and I hope it leads you down the path of trying and mastering the pen tool. If you did find the video helpful, as always, I'd appreciate you subscribing to the channel, liking the video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Until next time, stay creative.